just shot a deer. Guys, welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Thanks for hanging out with me. We are patiently waiting the rain out. Um, we're going to a spot where we had a decent buck show up this morning and daylighted. I was this close to hunting here this morning, but wound up hunting at a different location. Um, so I'm probably gonna hunt here the next couple sets just because we don't, really have anything showing up anywhere else so that's kind of the game plan right now but got a little bit of a walk up there uh, i'm not crazy bad it's an easy walk but um we're gonna get settled in and we got probably it's 3 30 now 4 35 there we got probably two hours two probably two hours and 15 minutes to hunt um so not a whole lot of time but uh, these deer haven't really been moving a lot midday i hadn't got a lot of trail camera photos but the afternoons and the mornings they've been moving right at first light so we're gonna go slide up in this tree stand see if we can get done get it done not get done get it done hit that subscribe button thanks for hanging out with me Whirling all over the place right now. If it'll stay <coughs> in the direction it's in, we'll be right on that borderline of being okay and not okay. But I'm hoping that that does not matter. Um, so we'll see. We're using the, we got the Springfield Armory 308 with us today. Back out so maybe y'all can see this beauty. Absolutely love this gun. Carbon fiber barrel. Got the tracked optic scope on top. Man, you gotta love this little thing. It's not little, it's actually kind of big. Kind of big and robust feeling but it's it's a freaking a joy to shoot i can tell you that so like i said we've got about it's about 340 right now we probably got about two hours i got about two more hours to hunt of good daylight before this field, this field gets kind of hard to see in at night time because of how, just because of how thick everything is. But we're gonna see if we can see if we can get her done, guys.
is looking up at me. And my wind is actually, my wind was perfect the entire time they were standing there. So I, there's no way that they smelled me. It's almost like they, it's almost like they had seen something. But then they couldn't find it. And they took off running back into the thick stuff and they, they blew a couple times, but not like they just stay down there and just keep blowing and blowing and blowing. And they just very softly blew one or two times while they made their first couple bounds down through the woods. So I'm, I'm not that, I'm not that concerned with them, you know, boogering up some of the other deer in the area. Makes me, it makes me curious as to what, what they didn't really like. What's going on guys? It is the next afternoon. Still fighting a whole bunch of really cloudy conditions. I've got a perfect wind for this spot that I'm in, but it almost feels like the times that I've hunted properties where I've had a perfect wind, I actually see less deer. Um, but we're in here, we're set up, it's good, it's early. 3, 20, 3 o'clock. We've been in here 15, 20 minutes, so didn't run any deer on the way out, which is a, that's a good thing.
crap, crap, crap. I'm stuck out here in the middle of nothing, too. Doe and a couple little ones. Looks like it's just two does. I thought there was three. There's just two right there. We pretty much blew those deer completely out of here. They were set up in this corner. And uh, man, they were just, if we had been five minutes earlier, it looks like those deer just came out into the field. And when I, I stopped to like glass the field, I couldn't see them. see anything other than them that doe that was right there. Oh, let's go. Guys, I just shot a deer. Man, I have no idea. I know for a fact I hit him. I heard the bullet hit him. Oh, man, that looked like a good deer. I ain't believing this freaking work. I heard the bullet hit him and he jumped up in the air. It was so dark though. He was all the way out there in front of me, exactly where I where I needed him to be at. I couldn't get him on film at all, guys. I mean, you guys can see, I can still see into the field, but it was so dark. I felt good about the shot. I mean, I heard the bullet hit him hard, hard, hard. And he jumped and kind of took off running to, from left to right. <sighs> man, he come out there and was working a scrape. <sighs> Look at y'all, manual, manual focus. All right, I don't know. I don't know if we... I, I guess I'm just going to hang out here until you get here, I guess, and give him enough time. And I don't know if we, I don't know if we go pick Milo up or what we do. But I mean, the bullet hit him, no doubt. I mean, I, I was using my Springfield with that suppressor. And I mean, you heard it, you heard it just smack him. But it, it, you know, it kind of sounded guttural, though. You know what I mean? Like it was, it might have, it might have been back. 
but he, I mean, he, he mule kicked whenever I hit him, and he didn't, it looked like he was hurting getting out of the field, but, I mean, I, I lost sight of him, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, well, I'm in between the island and the two man. All right, guys. I'm going to ease my way over here to where I think that deer was standing. I'd like to really find some blood just where, even as, just where he went into the field at. And then, or he went into the woods. And if I can find that. Nowhere near as big as what I thought he was. I mean, nowhere near as big. Well, I've never seen this deer before. Look at that. He's all palmated on that side. Oh, man. Oh, that dude's blind. Look at him. Look at that eye right there. He's blind in that eye. Holy smokes. What a unique deer. It's not a giant deer by no means, but he's freaking... He is unique. Look at that. He's got good mass right there. Man, when he stepped out in the field, he looked like a dang monster. But that was the side that I could see right there. I could see four, or what I thought was four on that side. And, I mean, he was standing there. I could just tell he was a, a big-bodied deer. He looked mature. He's, he's a brute. I mean, he's a big deer, but he's had his butt kicked by somebody. Holy smokes, look at that thing. A daggum 10-pointer. 
That's pretty cool right there. Look at that joker. And that dude right there has been doing some battling, son. I mean straight battling. Oh, oh yeah. Here comes dad too. How freaking cool is that? Man, I told y'all I heard a, a good bump. Oh, let's see if I can get get him rolled over here. I'd like to see where I hit him. Hit him a little low. Hit him a little low, but I was sitting on the ground though, so that's not bad. I mean, that bullet just went straight in, right in there and just absolutely blew his heart out. Blew all that up in his front shoulder. I knew whenever I hit, he mule kicked, like the shot might've been a little low, which that's a pretty good shot. That's probably a, that's, that's probably close to 200 yards right there. And I didn't have the best, the best set either. I had that little tripod, but it was, I didn't have the legs out because I had my tripod on my camera, so. Holy smokes. I think Dad's probably got Milo. I told him to bring a dog because I wasn't finding any blood. Oh, man. How cool is that, man? Let's get this guy, let's get Dad over here. Let Dad take a look at him, and we'll get him up here where you guys take a better look at him. And uh, That's awesome. I'm glad I found him. How cool is that? Didn't he make it out of the field, baby? Springfield. Oh, 308. You gotta love it. First, first deer with this rifle, man, breaking it in the right way. Well, guys, right here is the end to a very, very long and hard season. Being able to slide in the last, we literally had 30 minutes, if that, to hunt. We were, we were trying to get down to the bottom of that hill and that doe and that little one was already in the field and pretty much had us pegged. They blew blew the whole place out and uh, really just kind of was thinking that it was a waste of time, just to be honest with you. And I, I couldn't see that well because this is a very, very big field. And I was sitting there scanning with my loophole binoculars. And sure enough, this dude was standing over there on the edge of the field working a scrape. And all I could see was this side right here. And I could tell that he had multiple points. But then he turned and looked at me. And he turned and looked at me, had his ears pinned back. And, man, I'm telling you, that last 10 minutes of daylight, sitting on the ground that far away, this dude looked like a monster. And what an awesome way to break in my new Springfield Armory 308 carbon fiber barrel. You guys have not seen this gun yet in a, in a product review, so I'm hoping to bring that to you guys pretty soon, but what an awesome shooting gun. Lightweight, very, very quiet. It's got the Toric uh, by track uh, optics on it. So just a cool way to end the season, man. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I am tired 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 we have worked our tails off this year to not get a whole lot in return as far as quality quality bucks but it has been it has been a grind uh, on, on our end to try to bring you guys episodes and, and videos that that you can watch on youtube so the fact that you guys are hanging out with me on my channel it means the world to me um, please hit that subscribe button i am trying to grow this channel to a hundred thousand subscribers and every single click gets me a little bit closer to that ultimate goal so i appreciate you hanging out with me and and, uh, we got a lot of coyotes hopefully to kill here in the near future we're going to be trying our best to kill as many of them as we can to bring you as many videos as we can uh, before we start winding down on our video season so with that being said that's it for this video see you guys next time <laughs>